Taking on in game number two, the Blue Ridge Rams with an 86 team overall, 91 rating defense, and an 81 rated offense. They're ranked 25. For those that don't know, I created a team to do a little bit of testing purposes to see if ratings actually matter. So the entire team has pretty much all the players with a rating of 100 in every single category. So coming into this game after witnessing a dominating performance in game one, you pretty much see the same dominating performance in this match as well. But you have moments like this, like this guy's reaction was so late. I thought it would have been a pick six, but I feel like what respects the ratings to actually showcase per player is based off play calling. Like throughout this match, this quarterback scrambled a lot because there was times that he felt actual pressure and there was times that he just decided to make a play on his own. Now, I'm not sure what his ratings is, but there was times where he did shine throughout this match. But the thing is to reflect the ratings for these players to really stand out. You got to have like a balance of the proper play calling. But then you have moments like this where this should have been a kick return. But of course, I had a guy that was pretty fast. I was able to track him down, but he took an angle so he can get caught, which I thought was kind of weird. But even though we stopped him, the defense actually stopped him in the red zone from scoring a touchdown. So that's what you want to see. But, you know, to reflect it is based off play calling as well, which... I think is kind of a good mixture to reflect the ratings. Like I'm expecting for these certain individual players to really dominate and make a big play. Now they do that from time to time, but I guess it's based off the situation and the reaction. Like right here, kickoff gets returned for a touchdown after they made that field goal attempt. So this is a player just making the play. So it does shine from time to time. And then you have moments like this, like, Look at this. This is crazy, but that's what all 100 ratings would showcase. So it does showcase from time to time. It's not as consistent, but it does showcase a big difference when you have the proper play calls and then just based off reaction of players. Like the quarterback taking off, he should have scored there because he has 100 speed. Now I'm kind of shocked he got caught, but it is what it is. I mean, they do have a 91 of our rating defense, but then he makes a dot passing play which goes for a touchdown. But all in all, it does matter to a degree. Like I said, you got to have a little bit of balance when it comes to play calling, the situation, the reaction, and decision-making by the players. But so far, this is the expectation I want to see, which they're doing so far is dominating, you know, in both games. And that's how it should be. I did change up the scheme from last game, which last game was a power run offense and a 3-4 defense. I switched it to a 4-3 defense, base 4-3 that is, and then just simple offense. So I'm going to change it once again, heading into the next match. But let me know what you guys think about this down below in the comments. Is this what you're expecting to see with a full team, basically of 100 ratings in every category? Until next time, I'll see you guys later. I'm out. Peace.